Hi, it's Wolf from and here in YouTube, you know me as Epic Fantasy, and this is my latest video. This is a Dragon Slayer video. You know, this is Dragon Slayer 8, the Foundry Bazooka. Fun little project. I'll tell you a little bit about it first, but first, I'm gonna, first let me say, um, thanks for watching my videos, thanks for being a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, think about subscribing, i got a lot of videos about a whole lot of stuff. Um, I'm going to give you a fun little video that I do where I take this out and I shoot at a dragon with it. And then after that, I'll show you a little bit about how this is made, but let me just uh, point out a couple of things here. It's pretty big. It's a bazooka, and it shoots a missile, see? It has a waist strap so I can wear it. And, uh, you know, electronics, power, right, the on-off switch, so it fires. And the thing about this is the foundry bazooka is that it has a little foundry in it. This is a pot that melts metal. In, the, in this case, I use bismuth. And when the metal is melted and ready to go, it takes a little while. It's poured, and then it makes a little electrical connection inside there, which fires off the rocket. So it has to be plugged in to, you know, run the power on it. Fun little project. Let's launch into the video about tracking down and shooting the dragon. And then after that, I'll show you a little bit about the making of this. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and treasure chains, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model boxes, animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. Okay, so let's take this thing out for a test. Or to shoot down a dragon. Let's not test it. I plugged it in because it needs power for the foundry. And take it out to the woods. Plenty of extension cord, I think. Now, there's been a dragon pestering the neighborhood, so I knew just about where to go, and I waited for him. And when the shadow of him passed over me, I knew that was it. I had to get myself ready. This is my big chance. This is Dragon Slayer 8. But, of course, I ran too much, and the cord came right out. See that? I was like, oh, how come it's not starting? How come it's not starting? That's, that's right, the cord ran out. So I went all the way back, started all over again. This time I didn't run as far. And when the shadow of the dragon passed over me again, I knew that was it. I was in luck, and this time we were going to go. Turn it on, get that party going. On. Come on, heat up. too slow, come, come on, on, heat up. I probably Hurry should up, have thought of this before. Too long to do Okay, Fire all right, ready. Let's do it. And I can fire. So here we go. Right in there, fire. fired. That scared me. Wow. It was the dragon. It was too late. Too slow and too late. We'll look at it then in half speed so you can get a good look at it. And then again, we'll look at it one more time. And I think it's one tenth speed. See that missile coming out. Yeah, pretty cool. So, the further adventures of the Dragon Slayer is coming up. This is Dragon Slayer 8. And uh, let me show you a little bit about um, how I made it. It's not really complicated, just a few things. I won't give away too many secrets. But see, this is the thing I made with the two electrical wires that are spaced together. See it? Just a little space between them. The molten metal of business gold isn't in there and makes the connection. Kind of neat, that stuff found it. Okay. So once it's melted, I pour it, and it falls right in that slot, which is angled, and it makes the connection. It works really well, but it is only a one-shot bazooka. And maybe you want to see a little bit of the metal melting. I added some filings too to it, some of the when I'm cutting the pieces into small pieces. So that's it. Dragon Slayer 8, another failure. I will try again with Dragon Slayer 9. And those of you that have been following Dragon Slayer 7, the animated one, I, be, I get more coming with that. And it was a pretty simple switching circuit. The battery pack soldered it all up. Now here's some more of the Dragon Slayers from uh, clockwise, from the upper left. Uh, Dragon Slayer 1, then 2, then 3. There with the sword, that is um, four, and then the tank, which is Dragon Slayer 5. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Leave a comment. Plenty more stuff.